Hello, hello. Hey, Lucero, good evening, welcome. Shanira, hello, good evening. Hey, teacher, good evening. How is it going? Oh, same old, same old, you know how it is. What about you? Well, I'm, I'm okay, I'm very good. It was a very calm day. Oh, really? Yeah. I rest at afternoon. Okay, in the afternoon. Yeah, uh, so I'm really good teacher. That's nice, that's nice. It's good that you could rest. Okay, what was it today your day off? Uh, not really, teacher, but I asked for this day uh, for a vacation. Oh, really? Yeah, but uh, only today. That's nice, excellent. Yes, was a very, very calm day. Was good, really good. <laughs> That's cool. That's cool. That means that you're you really needed that rest. Yes, teacher. And today, uh, well, I do something at morning, but I early. Did. I did. I did something early in morning, but the rest of the day I rest. I so feel nice. I feel very retained. Refresh. Refresh. Why yeah, refresh you... in and no retain? We don't say retain. Uh, we say refresh. That's the way we say it. Okay. Okay. I so trust in, in you, teacher. <laughs> I trust I you. That. I trust you. I trust you. Well, you better. You better. Thank you, thank you. Okay. So that's nice. That's nice. And the good thing is that I mean you're not gonna work tonight after class. You're gonna rest. Well, I work after the class, teacher. <laughs> why? Why? Because I need to to solve something. Uh, well, era was for for today. But uh -huh. I, I don't know. I, I don't feel emotion to to did that. Then uh, maybe I need to finish this night. Mm, tonight, tonight. Yeah, tonight. Come on, Janira. You should have done it earlier so you could have gone to sleep early. <laughs> uh, Yes, I need I need some night that I can go to bed very early. Yeah, well, you know something weird happens to me if I go to sleep too early, like two, three a.m. in the morning, I'm like awake. Yes, this is a reason that I prefer to go more more later. Go to, to go to sleep later. Yes. Go to sleep later. Yeah, I can imagine. Janita, welcome to the class. Thank you very much for being here tonight. Thank you, teacher. Come to you. Anna Claudia, hello. How are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. I'm sorry. I <laughs> wasn't able to activate the, the microphone. I'm fine. I'm so, so. Very good. Okay, that's cool. Mm -hmm. So tell me, how was your day? Well, it was a very good day, I can say. Um, uh, well, uh, today was a different day because uh, yesterday, as I told you, we, uh, well, today we were switching to a, a being an inbound uh, queue. So instead of us making the calls, we need to wait for the calls come to us. It was a mess <laughs> because yeah. uh, 
calls that uh, were supposed to go to technical assistant or customer service were on sales. It was a mess, but it was a learning day. After, after that, for me, it was a good day because I was able to make good contacts, make another sale. My goal is the revenue, to reach my revenue until December 18. And I'm, I have good place on that. Okay, that's cool. I mean, it's excellent that things are coming along just fine for you. Exactly. I think so. <laughs> so, uh, on an average, how far are you gone? Are you like 60%, uh, 70%? Today, I reached my uh, my 50% today. And okay. tomorrow, I hope if uh, I got another customer, I've been chasing on her. Can I say? Chasing. Chasing, chasing okay. Chasing on her since last, uh, since, uh, last month. Uh, if everything... It's okay with if I close that deal tomorrow and the one that I made today, I'm pretty sure I will be in my 60%. 60%. Oh, that's mm -hmm. nice. Yes, yes. So nice. I'm working, I'm running, and I'm uh, in sales. You know, you must uh, put your not only your effort, but your. Uh, um, thinking, your mind, everything running in the same direction. Uh, yeah. And it's like you need to call those things to come. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know a what good selling vibe. is like. I uh -huh. know what a good selling vibe. is like. Mm -hmm. ah, it's uh, surprising. Every day is totally different. And that is the good thing yeah. on sales. You have to project something different. Exactly. That is the word project. You have to project. Yeah. That's right. Mm -hmm. You have to project com confidence. You have to project uh, uh, a good attitude. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you have to, I, I've learned that you have to name the things even though they have hadn't happened. It will be all right if they yeah. hadn't happened. Okay. You uh, must leave them, believe they are, you are in. Uh, it's like, a, all these kind of uh, vibes <laughs> and words, not magical words, is you make your mind to work everything in the same direction. And that works. That works. Oh, I know. Well, <laughs> so glad to hear that everything's coming well. Thank, Thank you, you teacher. <laughs> no, thanks to you for sharing with us. <laughs> Thank you. Roxana. Roxane, tell me, Hello. how are you? Good evening, teacher. Oh my gosh, your voice is back. No, really, I try to, but it's complex, you know. I need to drink a lot of uh, hot tea and a lot of pills. I but I, I feel better. I will be right now with something very cold. It's nice for the throat. Nice. Yeah, you know, if you were my neighbor, I would invite you to a ice cream. <laughs> some beer, be some coffee. Yeah, sure, sure. Some tequilas, the that best medicine, be, you know. <laughs> that would be awesome. <laughs> nice. Maybe next time, teacher. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You got to let me know so we can prepare everything. <laughs> nice. Make a party out of it. Now, yeah. Tell me. Of course. Yeah, Janina sure, sure. is the, ¿cómo se dice? Organizador de fiestas. <laughs> oh, really? The party organizer? That's yeah, cool. Yeah, she is. Wow, she loves yeah, you know, parties. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine. I can imagine. She loves parties. <laughs> That's yeah. cool. That's cool. How was your day, my dear? Roxana well, is organizer party. No, I just organize baby shower. Hi, but oh. party no. Your baby shower. No. <laughs> oh Another my gosh. person. Not yes, mine. teacher. No. Really, baby Roxana? shower. Imagine. No, really, teacher. Oh. <laughs> Esas son cosas del diablo. 
son cosas del diablo, no. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. Tell me, Roxana, how was your day? How was everything? Well, my day, it was very busy because I was in my, I was working in my closing and I think uh, tomorrow I will finish it. And today it was very hard because uh, I was working in audit report and internal report and send emails about payment and something like that. And you know, it is is my stressful day. But in general, I think that it was a productive day and I have a, um, a little time for uh, my family and my son, my friends, you know, I try to get a, a little balance all days. <clears throat> That's cool. That's cool. Interesting. Well, Roxana, thank you very much for sharing with us and welcome to the class. Thank you. Wilfredo Guardado, yes. Teacher. Tell me, mister. I'm so sorry, but uh, right now I, I'm not at home. I'm going to receive my classes in, with my cell phone. No problem, no problem. Okay, thank you, teacher. No problem, my friend. That's Welcome. Great. Hey, guys, let me Welcome. get the attendance right now. Ambar Eli Alfaro Gomez. Thank you. Ana Claudia Gonzalez Velasquez. Present, teacher. Claudia Lizeth Ramos Barrientos. Present. Daniel Eduardo Osereda Valencia. Erwin Francisco López Rojas. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. José Ernesto Osorio Morán. Present teacher. José Wilfredo Ayala Sorte. Present teacher. Lucero Abigail Godínez López. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Marta Ana Belinda Morales de Portillo. Present teacher. Nicolás Atilio Méndez Granados. Roxana Iveda Asensio de Mejía. Present. Silvia Elizabeth Avendaño Pineda. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present teacher. Thank you, Susana. Walter Mauricio Morales Aranjo. Present. Thank you, Daniel. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. William Giovanni Rosales Galvez. Present teacher. Janira Elizabeth Asensio García. Present. Thank you. Okay, guys, but you know what? Today we're going to change the, 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 the way in which we do this exercise, okay? We are going to do the, the greeting and everything, but you are going to do it with each other, okay? So what are we going to do? I'm going to divide you in a little bit groups and you're going to be greeting each other, asking how was your day, asking about the activities the other person performs on a regular basis, asking about the routine, you know, the, the normal regular questions you ask somebody about his or her day. So let me get the groups. You're going to be working in a little bit, slightly big groups. Okay. Guys, groups are created, let's see. Please jump in. Three minutes for this activity.
Many cases, many calls. Uh, you know, this day is uh, very difficult for me because it's close many activities. You have to finish some activities today. Hello. Oh, hello, hello. Do you hear me? Yes, yes. yes. we can hear you. Okay, my daily routine for today uh, was wake up, uh, woke up uh, really early uh, because I need to do some stuff in, at the bank. And then I have to do other things about one uh, process that I'm, that I'm making to get my new house. And on the afternoon, I went to, to run. And then I have to wait until uh, the class began, or the class begin. And now, um, in class, that was my daily routine for today. Is this your uh, day off? Yeah, today is my day off. Oh, no. Yeah, One of these why. many days off in the week, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yes, teacher, yes. One of the many that I have. When he was teacher, <laughs> I usually heard that he take a take off all the you time. Know, he right? has day off, goes to the beach, the whole week. I weekend. invite you, and Jose. Yeah, me, but me why don't I, if you all... Every day I went to the office. Oh, it's more difficult. Yes, but it's a but um I I have I have uh, distraction. Uh, and you know what, Maria Alejandra? She makes a lot of money. <laughs> Yes, I think Susana. Yeah, she, Susana makes a lot of money. You know? That's why she works so much. <laughs> Teacher. Yes, my dear. Ya se fue. No. No. <laughs> Hoy do you say ron? I'm sorry. Roncar. Ronca. Snore. Snore. But do you say ronca? But no, pero no ronca de, de dormir, no que ronca de voz. Oh, raspy voice. Uh -huh. oh. <laughs> Look, that's, you got a raspy voice. Raspy voice is like, like this. <laughs> but if it's deep, si es una persona que habla grave, that's deep. A deep voice. A deep <laughs> voice. Okay. Deep voice. Voice. Okay.
Okay, guys, let's see, let's see, let's see. Now you go again, but you're going to do the same activity with just one person, somebody different, mm -hmm. okay? I recreated the group, so you're going to be with somebody different. For this, you're just gonna have two minutes because you're going to be talking with one person, but you are going to report what your classmate, one of your classmates said. So you are not going to talk about your activities. You are going to talk about what one of your classmates that was in your previous group did during the day, okay? So two minutes, jump in. I'm so sorry, Janita, but that person that was supposed to be with you doesn't want to come. <laughs> it's okay, teacher. Oh, there she comes, finally. Hey. You know, teacher, she always came later. Yeah, you know. <laughs> I'm sorry. <clears throat> Hello. Hello. Okay, then tell me. Please give me your report. You see, Roxana doesn't want to interact with you. Yeah. Do you know? No. I'm She's sorry. making something. I don't know what. Maybe she's preparing for Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hello, Fernando. Good evening. There's Susana here to talk to you. Susana. Okay, what, what is the exercise? Just to talk about your day, how your day was, okay? Ah, okay. Hello, so, Susana. I'll you guys. Okay. The other, the other team, because... I only remember is Barcelona. Okay. What, what are you talking about? Uh, it's about the, the, day, the day Wilfredo. Wilfredo's the, day. Wilfredo's, Wilfredo's day. day, sorry. Wilfredo's day. So tomorrow he watched TV game, the Barcelona, but I don't remember. Oh, that's are... against Barcelona against, uh, let's see. Manchester? Oh, no. Oh, no. no, no, no. German team. A team from Germany. Ah, Bayern. Bayern? Bayern Munich. Munich. Yes. Okay. So, um, with Fredo's day. That's the way his day is going to be. Hmm, interesting. Yeah. Are you going to watch the game, Marta? No, really, teacher. Why I, I, I like no the match. I, I don't like? You don't like soccer? I don't. Mm, 
No, I don't know. So, because I nervous for when when my selector lost. <laughs> so I prefer um, know the the match or ¿cómo se dice el resultado? Score. Match or score? score. Ah, okay. score. Score the game. I I I like know the score the game. But when you finish the the game. Because, como se dice, sufro. I suffer. I suffer for my team. Oh, really? Uh, and you, I teacher? Don't. I don't. I don't have that problem. Me, tomorrow, let's see, in the morning. Uh, I don't know if I'll go to the gym in the morning. What? What, uh, what kind of exercise do you practice, teacher? Uh, right now I'm doing weight and I'm doing some exercises to get, again, you know, movement and strength on my hand. Oh, okay. And like today I did, uh, I was lifting weight for my chest and my tricep. Oh, okay. This muscle right here. Yeah. Tomorrow I'm supposed to work Bicep, shoulders, and back. Oh. And on Wednesday, I'm supposed to work legs. No, on Thursday, Oops. I'm sorry. On Thursday, legs. Oops. You cannot I work. Like, <laughs> I don't like doing legs. <laughs> yeah, it's a very hard. <laughs> yeah, it hurts a lot. And the problem is this, you know? Since I have the accident, uh, that was like in June, I haven't done legs since then. Oh, so it's really? going to hurt, horrible. Oh my God. Uh, it's a, the way it's it a goes. big problem. <laughs> yeah, but you know, I enjoy doing legs. The only thing I hate to do is abs. Oh. Abdomen. I hate yeah. that. Yeah. Hurts. It's more difficult. <laughs> yeah, it hurts too much. <laughs> oh, teacher. Sorry. But. Okay, okay, guys. I hope you enjoyed your activity. So let's see if Jose Wilfredo Ayala tell me about one of your classmates, if you are so kind. Okay. Uh, Walter? Yes, tell me about him. Say that uh, he was checking which Teams of the majorly lead team from El Salvador okay. are on semifinals. Okay, perfect. And then we talk about Pupusarias because he lives in Oloquilta. Thanks, God, I didn't pass by your group. <laughs> That's not good. That's not a good talk. 
Thank you, Mr. <laughs> Excellent. Well done. Okay. Okay. Let's see, Maria Alejandra, tell me. Talk to me. <laughs> Hi, teacher. Uh, my partner was um, Susana in Ampar. Okay, tell me about, <laughs> let's see, Ambar. Uh, Ambar, her partner was Walter. Okay. And tell me that the Walter uh, talk about uh, the Christmas bonus. And oh. <laughs> and the have a lot of work in these months. Uh, I think that Walter have a uh, worth uh, less days because stay in vacation. Okay, perfect. Thank <clears throat> only that. <laughs> perfect, thank you. Let's Thanks. see. Martha, talk to me. Well, my partner was Claudia. Okay. And uh, your partner before? Her, her previous partner. Her previous partner was Janira. Okay. Uh, so, uh, she told me about the, Jan the Janita's day was day of today. And she, she made many activities. For example, uh, she, she checked social media. She watched TV in the afternoon. Um, Rest a lot. Okay, perfect. Thank you. I appreciate it. Nicolas, talk to me. Hello, teacher. Good evening. How are Good evening, you? my friend. Just fine, just fine. Tell me about who were you working with? Uh, sorry? Who was your partner? Uh, my partner is uh, uh, Jose Osorio and, and Wilfredo. Tell me about Jose. William. Ah, William. Sorry. Okay, William. tell me about Jose. What do you remember? Ah, uh, well, um, Jose, Jose Osorio uh, was uh, working, working all day. He's very, uh, he, he was very tired because your activity is, is for Monitoring, I okay. Monitoring, uh, <sighs> I no 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 remember more. No okay, more perfect. Remember. That's fine. That's fine. Thank you, Mr. Osorio. Tell me about William. What do you remember? Well, teacher. Um. William told me about your daily activities. His, his, his daily his, activities. Yes. His, ¿qué dijo? <laughs> your. <laughs> okay, teacher, excuse me. Uh, William told me about his daily activities and he had the opportunity to fulfill all your, your activities. And his activities. He told me his activities. Yes, and you can use your. Yes, sure. I'm losing my idea. That happened. <laughs> uh -huh, and, and he had a um, a long day and very tired for the okay. uh -huh, for the activities. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, guys. Next activity, today we are going to work with the manual a little bit and we are going to do a very, very interesting activity. I am sure you're going to enjoy it because you are going to be interacting with each other. 
and it's going to be awesome, I am sure. Let me state it for you. It goes like this. We have a I'm sorry, guys. Uh, we have a couple of questions here, okay? We have two sets of questions, but we are going to work about just the first set of questions. What does your business or product do? What problem do you solve for your customers? Who are your three main competitors, direct or indirect? What is the primary message do you want to convey to your customers? What are five adjectives or words that best describe your company? So right now, guys, what we are going to do is this. We are going to focus on these questions. What is the activity? Okay, you are going to be working in the same groups that you've been working. And you're going to be asking each other these questions, okay? You need to do this exercise properly because then we are going to do the next exercise but i will wait for everybody to finish working with this you are going to have 10 minutes for this activity because i want it well done and i need you to do something else i need you to write down your answers so i just send you the questions what is the process I'm going to send you into the groups, but for the first two minutes, I need you to write down your answers, okay? So when the two minutes pass, I'm going to tell you, okay, guys, it's time. Then you're going to ask and answer the questions. So let's do something. We are going to have the two minutes here together, okay? The two minutes start, give me just a second. We're gonna do it properly. Okay, your two minutes start right about now. Okay, you have two minutes, answer the questions. Remember, you got the questions right there on your, on the group. If you don't, I'll share them with you also here in the what's up in the zoom chat in number one what does your business or product if your company sells a product you answer with that Remember, you don't need to copy the question, just the answer, okay? Hello. Yes, Susana. Excuse me, teacher. No problem. Okay, guys. Now I'll send you into the groups. You will have 10 minutes for the activity, okay? Asking and answering those questions. Remember to take notes. 10 minutes start as soon as you get into the groups, okay?
Hello, Sylvia. Hello, teacher. Okay, did you receive uh, an image that I just sent? Uh, let me see. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay, there are some questions. Those questions, I'm going to send you to a group. You need to answer those questions uh, with your partners. They did it already on written. If you have a piece of paper, you can answer them there and share your info with them, okay? Because then we're going to do another exercise using information related to that, okay? Okay. So let me send you to a group so you can participate. Let's see. Mm, okay, there you go. Ladies, are you sharing your info? Not really yet. Oh, teacher, I, I want to I wait a minute. Are we up? Nine minutes. Claudia says she's ready. Hello, teacher. <laughs> you ready, Claudia? Mm. Yes, teacher. Only number five. It is not complete. What are five adjectives or words that best describe your company? Mm, that's interesting, right? Yes, teacher. Got your mind like working. <laughs> yes. So, so far, the teacher is calm. Don't worry. Okay. <laughs> Just talking about me. <laughs> yeah, no teacher, no. I talk about the the activity. I finish. <clears throat> what about okay, you? Guys. We got seven minutes left. Oh yeah. I'm sick of it. Oh my gosh, this is so easy. It's the same company, right? <laughs> Yes. Oh man, yes. I should. I didn't notice on time. <laughs> no, but it's cool because you're going to get a pretty, pretty good answer. You both know about know the company. <laughs> yes, yeah, I try. I try. <laughs> do your best. Do your best. I'll be around. Okay. 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 Walter, uh, Excuse what? Me. Uh -huh. Tell me, tell me. Ah, uh, no. Uh, what does your business or product do? Oh, my. Um, for example, my company is the product is a uh, clothing. And clothing, clothing, the different. Excuse me? Clothing. Mm -hmm. Clothing. Clothing. Okay. Thank you, teacher. And clothing, uh, the different, for, for example, uh, tier.
Hello, teacher. Is a Hello. Fernando. Oh, Fernando has an inconvenient. Okay, there's Sylvia here. Ah, Sylvia. Ah. You can ask her the questions. Hello. Ah, hello, Sylvia. Mm, Sylvia was very considered. <laughs> okay. I am working a lot with uh, a lot of middlemen intermediaries, and I give support about uh, applications yeah. and commissions. So mm -hmm. I try to get a. Uh, I know a uh, customer services. Yeah, customer services. And what are five adjectives or words that please describe your company? Uh, I don't know. You cannot maybe. say you cannot say hell. Okay. Hell is not accepted. Okay. <laughs> is the heaven? Yeah, you can say heaven, but no hell. Okay. <laughs> It's the best place around the world. Yeah. Yeah. You can say that. The best entity. Yeah. Remember that human resources sometimes they check the videos. Okay. I love ATS. I love Rox them. Roxana. Roxana said that. Me no. Me no. I I didn't. I didn't. No. <laughs> the best company ever, she said. Yes, the best. Okay, I'll go to another group so you can talk freely, okay? okay. Well, in order that uh, my human resources is hearing or watch. In, in, in this case, uh, uh, in the K, este, es Didelco. Okay. First, Didelco, two, uh, two lemons, and three, este, Sumersa. The indirect, uh, We're just waiting two more minutes for people to come back. Fernando, what happened? Sorry, teacher, I had a work call. Okay, no problem.
Okay, guys, let's see. Is everybody back? Yes, it is. Let me get the attendance before we move forward to the next activity. Ambar Eli Alfaro Gomez. Present. Ana Claudia González Velázquez. Present, teacher. Claudia Luis Ramos Barrientos. Present. Daniel Eduardo José de Valencia. Erwin Francisco López Rojas. Thank you, Daniel. Present, teacher. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Present, teacher. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present, teacher. José Ernesto Osorio Morán. Present, teacher. José Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present, teacher. Lucero Abigail Godínez López. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present, teacher. Marta Ana Belinda Morales de Portillo. Present, teacher. Nicolás Atilio Méndez Granados. Present, teacher. Roxana Iveda Asensio de Mejía. Present. Silvia Elizabeth Avendaño Pineda. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present, teacher. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present, teacher. William Giovanni Rosales Galvez. Present teacher. Shanira Elizabeth Asensio Garcia. Present. Okay, thank you very much. Now guys, the next activity. That one was a practice. A practice for what? Okay, the next exercise is the same. In your manual, we are working in page number 26. Personal branding, okay. Look at these questions. What service do you have to offer to people? What do you do that makes you stand out from everyone else? Who are your biggest competitors and what are they doing to brand themselves? What do you want your personal brand to convey? What adjectives do you want people to associate with you as the product and why? Okay, now. I'm just going to send you these questions and I'll explain to you. Okay, there you go. I just send them to you guys because we are going to do exercise number six. In exercise six, says, Give me just a second. Okay. Let's see. I don't know why it's unmuted. Okay. The exercise is this. You're going to again. We have you here. I don't know why you are unmuted. Okay. Here we go. You're going to work in pairs. Choose a well known product or service in the international market. Answer the guiding questions. Create the basic profile of the brand for the product or service you choose. Repeat the process to develop the basics of your personal brand. Okay, that's what you are going to do, guys. You are going to create. Well, choose one product that is already in the national market, but you are going to answer the questions I gave you, the personal branding questions about that product, like if it's your product, okay? So we are going to do the activity like this. I'll give you 
I'll give you, let's see, I'll give you 15 minutes. In the first three minutes, I want you to decide about one product. I will pass by all the groups, checking out which product or company or brand you have chosen, okay? Then you will create that strategy. How? Answering the questions provided, okay? Let me send you also the activities according to the manual, the exercise, okay? Because you are going to do exercise six and seven. Work in pairs, choose a product, answer the questions, create the basic profile of the brand for the product service you choose, and repeat the process to develop the basic of your personal brand. Then present the results of the brand design process with the class, okay? First, you're going to do it with a product that is already in the market. That's going to be fast. Then you're going to create, think about one product. Do you remember a couple of days ago we did it? Some of you talk about shampoo, some of you talk about a hair dryer. Now you're going to get the same ideas, but you're going to make it a little bit bigger, okay? Is there any question about the activity? If not, your 15 minutes start about now, guys. Hello, Wilfredo, I'm sorry. I think you had problems with your microphone for a couple of minutes. Okay, let's check the groups because I see that Susana is alive. Susana, my dear. I don't, uh, I, I don't have a companion. Yes, no. you do, but I don't Never. know why they are not here. Let me see if. Shanira, should you get into the group? Sylvia?
for example, how are you bigger competitors? It is difficult. Teacher. Yes. Um, we understand the activity is for two steps. The first step is we need choice uh, one product, the national market. Yes. For answer the question about the section, the personal branding, is correct? Yes, that's correct. Okay, in the second step is we need make uh made uh, one new product and answer the same question the section personal branding is correct yep okay thank you okay. Hey. teacher, <laughs> teacher yes. i don't understand the activity because i'm having problem with my english with my internet connection okay it's like this first you choose one product that is already oh. in the market answer the the second set of questions okay after answering that those questions think about one product do you remember we did that activity a couple of days ago think about one product your own product as a group and answer the questions about that product prepare the oh, strategy okay. that you are going to present it to us okay 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 what is the product Jose, i remember what? word uh, uh, well I, we have uh, some competitors as acantilados it's okay. a, a beautiful hotel with incredible views too and this is a new brand in area and another competitors could be betos it's uh, in, in in the restaurant area. Uh, they don't have accommodation. They don't have hotel services, but they yeah, have a good, good, beautiful, and really tasty restaurant. Okay. So maybe they are my two um, biggest competitors. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, they don't, but acantilados have hotel no it's a hotel and restaurant they have two restaurants beautiful restaurants with incredible views to the sunset every day i love it okay. and it's my competitors <laughs> okay. it's a good place really really so it's really expensive too Yes, ladies. Hi, teacher. Hello. Teacher, I don't, I don't understand. Please. Okay, first, choose one product that is already in the market. Okay. Answer Go the second set of Japan. questions. Okay, answer the second set of questions. The personal branding. Then, think, create a product. Like in the in the exercise we did a couple of days ago. Ah, create uh, the other product and use and, uh, and create the basic profile of the brand for the product or service you choose. Okay. Okay. How do you create the basic profile? Imagine that you say choose. Okay, what service do you offer to people? Oh, we offer choose to people. What do you do to make that makes you stand out from everyone else? Okay, remember, you are creating the profile. So you are answering the questions and giving the, the main idea like, oh, we offer a new brand of tennis shoes. These tennis shoes are the best because they are very different. They are special. They make people's feet smell good. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Who are your biggest competitors? Okay. Your biggest competitors are, I don't know, Nike, Skechers, okay? Okay, teacher. Thank you. That's what you're going to do? Okay. 
Okay. See you later. <laughs> Bye. Okay. What are, what service do you have to offer to people? Taco <laughs> Keta. The service is turn off the set. <laughs> the set. <laughs> Unida a los adjetivos, los objetivos. Why? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. <laughs> We want to clarify things in it. <laughs> okay, remember, first you were supposed to answer the questions about, well, choose a product that is already in the market. Yes. Answer the questions related to that product. Mm -hmm. Then create a new product or service. And by answering the questions, you are going to create the basic profile of the brand. Uh -huh. okay? Because remember, it's your personal brand. You are going to present the product, the brand design process with the class. What does it mean? That if you choose, okay, my product is choose, you're going mm -hmm. to say, oh, Our product is a new brand of tennis shoes and our product is different from the rest because they make your feet smell good. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay, so we are just missing the name. Yes, we have a product. No, because I gave that example to another group, so sorry. No, 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 I mean, we already oh, have you a your product. product. Yes, we oh, have a, pro cool. a new product. But we are, what I'm telling to my partner is that we are just missing the name. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. Really expensive. Um, the, the prices are similar that every restaurant in the coast area. Um, mm -hmm. We have the, the same prices as they have. And uh, the, the, the difference is the, the, pos the, the position of every restaurant or hotel. As I said, um, Betos don't have uh, a hotel. They mm -hmm. only is um, they only are a restaurant. Yeah. Okay. And what about cantilados? Is more expensive? Uh, sometimes, uh, and it depends that uh, what do you want to eat. But if you uh, It's a pescado relleno. Uh, the price is similar, uh, but they have um, they, their their dishes are uh, more uh, smallest are smaller 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 than the the other places because the their focus is in the presentation. Okay. Same thing. Uh, something that is happening internationally too. Okay, guys, look, the time, you just have five more minutes. Remember, the next part of the activity was for you to make, to choose one, to create one product. And by answering the second set of questions that I share with you, you have to create the basic profile of the brand, okay? because you are going to present the results of the brand design process with the class. Yeah. What does it mean? No. That you're going to say, okay, our product is, uh, I don't know. Uh, Service. Smelly shoes. We're working in a restaurant. Oh, perfect. Excellent. We mm -hmm. choose a well-known product uh, that mm -hmm. in this case. Oh, yes. But the next, next step of the exercise was to create your own product. A ba the basic profile of the brand for the product. Okay, what is your brand? What is the brand you are going to present? Uh, the restaurant that I am working. Oh, oh, Erwin, you need to create one different. Okay. Erwin restaurant. <laughs> okay, cool. Erwin's restaurant. Okay, if it's <laughs> Erwin's restaurant, and I know that it's his area, either. Roxana or Sylvia is going to present it. Okay. Okay, ladies. Okay. No, 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 no,
Oh, you didn't notice Sylvia was here? No. Oh, she's here, you know, she's just listening, checking you out if you are doing good. <laughs> uh, I saw that we flavor the... Uh, okay, guys, I'm sorry. How is it going? Do you have your product ready? No. No. What's your product? What was I the product you're going to present? I don't know. No, guys, you just have like four minutes. Okay, I think, I think. Todita uh, Italiana. Okay. You hear it all? <laughs> it's, it's a new product. No, but. <laughs> but that's the one you're going to present. Okay, four minutes. Okay. Hurry up. Okay. <laughs> Amber, you drink uh, sodita italiana. But what do you want your personal brand to combi? Combi is. What do you personal? Ah, yes. What do you want your personal brand to combi? Uh, for example, my product. Uh, the message about I'm sorry guys I'm sorry I'm sorry to stop you right at this moment you are supposed to have your own product ready se supone que en este momento ya escogieron un producto ya crearon un producto ustedes y ya, yes. ya están contestando las preguntas sobre ese producto que van a presentar yes. just one per group ok yes ok but in
Okay, guys, let's see. Claudia and Marta, tell me what's your problem. Please make your presentation of your problem. Teacher, we need more time. <laughs> oh, I actually gave you three more minutes, guys. Okay, teacher. Uh, the, the first um, step, I we choose a car insurance. Okay. Where the car insurance is our product. Um, the product is um, innovation process and fast a procedure for accident. Uh, or bigger competitors is CISA, MAFRE, and AXA. Um, we need um, the personal brand to convey is the fast process and easy. Okay, uh, the adjective for our product is um, fast responsibility, trust, and innovation. Excellent, thank you. Thank you. Erwin, Roxana, Silvia, Sumira, please present your product, please. Hi, good evening. Our product is a um, restaurant. It's Erwin's restaurant in El Tunco. Okay. And, and let me see the question. Um, what service do you have to offer to the people? Well, uh, our service is a uh, good food, beautiful view from El Tunco and reservation for a hotel. Okay. And what do you do that makes you stand out from- You don't need, uh, to, you don't need to tell the question, just say the okay. answers, okay? Okay. Uh, the second, uh, we have a lot of services such as um, and we you you can use um a special you can uh, do a special reservation for a private uh, event okay <clears throat> number three uh, the pre the pre the principal uh, competitors are Acantilados and Betos because they have a lot of um, good services, good food, and a beautiful view. But uh, for example, Betos, they don't have a um, um, hotel. Hotel, yeah, yeah, hotel. And um, maybe they use a lot of uh, the advertising in social media. And number four, uh, let me see. What uh, want to? Uh, what do you want to personal brand to convey? Uh, we want to uh, convey good service, trust, and give a uh, balance in the product and price versus. Uh, perdón, good prices. Good services, okay. sorry, trust and balance between the product and service versus prices. Okay. And finally, uh, some of the adjectives that we need to uh, show is a nice environment, delicious food, good customer service, and variety in the menu. And that's it, teacher. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you very much. Very well done, guys. Room number five, Amber and Maria Alejandra. Please present your product. Okay, teacher. Uh, the product name is a uh, Solita Italiana. Okay. Have a peculiar flavor. Have a effervescent 
flavor and different presentation for the all the customers, uh, a liter or two liters. Uh, buying the different markets and you buy when you drink a different beverage in the special uh, sweet drinks. And the peculiar flavor are the green apple, cherry, peach, and mango. And think that create a uh, seasonal drinks, Season, seasonal drinks, uh -huh. and all the competitors are all the companies to sell as others. And... <laughs> okay, perfect. Thank you very much. Well done. You're welcome. Next group, Jose Osorio, Nicolás, William, and Susana. Okay, guys, please talk to me. Well, teacher, we choose a product is a national beer. Its name is uh, Pilsen. Okay. And about the question, teacher, uh, what service do you have to offer people? Uh, uh, offer a national quality national beer with in, incomparable, incomparable flavor. Continue, uh, please. What do you do that this thing this thing distinguish distinguish you from others? It's uh, distinguished by it's uh, a presentation that has not changed much since it began. And the other question. What are you, uh, what do you, that makes you stand out from everyone else? Mm -hmm. And the next question, teacher, I lose. Uh, okay. Okay, perfect. Are your Thank oldest you. competitors? Okay. Your biggest competitors? Okay. Yes. Its competitors are Golden, Suprema, and other foreign brands. And they offer different packaging according to the season as a limited edition and as a beach parties. And the brand transmit confidence and sharing time with friends and as well as pride in consuming the national beer with international quality. quality. Original and, beer of El Salvador. Uh -huh. And the adjectives, uh, it's refreshing, quality, uh, excellence, friendship, and good taste. Original receipt. And original receipt. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much, guys. Well done. Okay. Ana Claudia, Fernando, Jose Wilfredo, and Walter, please talk to me. Okay, our product is uh, Crazy Churritos. Uh, what, Ana Claudia? Okay. What is the crazy, compliment? Crazy Fried Churritos. Oh, Crazy Fried Churritos. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. They are Crazy Fried Churritos. Mm -hmm. Are you going okay. to continue? Alfredo. <laughs> okay, tell teacher. Me, me. <laughs> no, they, they are caramel filled churros. And the competitors uh, are the other sellers on the street. Yeah. And because <laughs> they use social media and they also use banners on the street to, to let the other, let the customer know about their product. Uh, our personal brand uh, is a delicious and unique uh, filled caramel churritos, and they are twisted at the same time. And why we think that we can uh, uh, be in the market or convey to the customer is because there are no filled churritos in the market at this time, and we are the first one. They are delicious, they are unique, and they are affordable. 
pretty good. Excellent. Well done. Yeah, I didn't know about that product. It's going to be a boom. <laughs> yes. Excellent, guys. Okay, Are they in place? We... Yeah, we want to know. Everybody's interested. You know, those churritos with those sodas people were talking about, we can go eat them at the restaurant. I know in Tunco, a new one that they are opening. It's interesting, right? And we can also have some little cold drinks after that. You see, we can have all the products in there. Hey guys, very well done. Thank you very much. It was nice uh, listening to you participate in all the groups. Now, I would like to know guys, who's ready for the presentation? Do you remember that some of you are still missing the personal presentation you were assigned like two weeks ago? I'm ready, I guess. <laughs> okay, let's do it, Roxana. <laughs> okay, let me see. Give me a minute. Are you going to share something with us? No, no, no. Okay, I'm just perfect. looking for my notes, personal notes. <laughs> vaping, vaping should be banned. Vaping, oh. yeah. It is a interesting topic because now I in my opinion, is a big problem. So uh, I was, uh, I'm, I'm gonna start with the general information. If you, I, I don't know if everybody knows who is or what is vaping. Vaping is similar to smoke, but it's uh, e-cigarette. -cigar, e so e-cigarettes are devices that heat a liquid into an aerosol that the user inhales. So yeah, the yeah. liquid inhales. So the liquid usually has nicotine and flavoring in it. You know, maybe cherries or strawberry or something like and that. That's not nicotine. Yeah, I I, I don't know, teacher. I hate smoke and I don't uh, vaping but I'm allergic so if someone is smoke or vaping close to me uh, immediately um, um, I am uh, estornudando how do you say estornudando? Sneezing. 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 Uh, sneezing so I think that uh, E-cigarettes have a nicotine because they have a, a also a, had additives in it. Because a, I have a friend that he loves that. And all the time he uh, needs to uh, buy a lot of um, bottles of, um, I don't know, mm. uh, oil? I think that it's like that oil. Yeah, it's it's a liquid. It's actually a liquid. Yes, yeah. it's oily. Uh, well, depending on how much maybe you do on a day, but I mean the little bottle can last you uh, a couple of know, days. But the last, they told the me. They time... told me. You know, I don't know about that. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, the last time he was talking to me about that, and I remember that he was uh, spent a lot of. $150 in that. And for me, it's a lot of money because you can save that, you know. But he loves that and he spends a lot of money on that. For that reason, I think that uh, they have uh, nicotines and a lot of additives. So uh, those are considered a tobacco product because most of them contain nicotine. Mm -hmm. They told me, my friend told me that some uh, person sells liquid and tell you about that uh, they don't uh, has, uh, have a nicotine. But uh, I don't, uh, I don't know. I think that a lot of uh, liquid has nicotine and additives. And uh, beside the nicotine, e-cigarette 
can contain harmful and potentially harmful ingredients, including ultra fine, ultra, ultra fine ingredients, ingredients. Ingredients or ingredients? Ingredients. Ingredients, including ultra fine particles that can be inhaled deep into the lungs, flavorants such as dias, dias, diacetyl, it's a, a strong chemical, and volatile organic compounds, and heavy metals such as nickel, tin, or something like that. And now, adolescent uh, years are time to are, are times or important brain development. Brain development begins during the growth of the fetal in the womb and continues through uh, childhood and about uh, fifty-five age. So nicotine exposure during adolescent and young adults can cause addiction, addiction and harm, harm the developing brain. So okay. cigarettes are very popular. Are, are very popular with young people. They use has grown dramatically in the last year, but those are unsafe for young people, no matter how, how they are used. Nicotine is harmful for young and adults. You know, if you are smoking or vaping, you will get a uh, sickness in the future and your lungs or I don't know, something like that. So in my opinion is uh, a bad option. Uh, I prefer down the smoke and down vaping. Okay. Okay, you won't get sickness. You will get an illness. Illness. Okay. Thank you. Thanks to you. Okay. Who else is ready for the presentation? Tell me, guys. I'm ready, teacher. Okay. Let's do it, Fernando. Okay. Man. I don't have a PPT. I only have a speech. Uh, my topic is homework should be banned. Okay, and um, as a parent of two students after finish a school year, I consider that the homework should be regulated and not in favor of them of them being banned. Ben, sorry. Because as a student, I know that they are an important part of the learning process. But as a parent and a student, I have done homework that did not contribute anything to learning and that are only done to get out of commitment. Homework is necessary, but it should not get to the point of being stressful. It should not consume excessive time. It should be according with the student's ability, and it should be very punctual about the topic at hand. Thanks to this assignment, I have, I have been reading about the, the eternal debate about homework should be banned or not, on some points, I agree that they should be banned. For example, students will have more free time for other types of activities, such as psychical activities, spending time with the family. They will be subjected to less stress. They will have more time to study for their exam. And of course, both the students and the parents' life will be much will be much easier without homework. Okay. But, but on, the, on the other hand, I know the importance of homework to reinforce. On, on the other hand. On the other hand, on the other hand, okay. I know the, the, the importance of homework to reinforce the topic seen in class and expand the knowledge about them. For this reason, I consider that the homework should be easy to do. They should not, not take uh, more than 15 minutes per subject and teachers 
should evaluate differently. For example, teachers should read the student's development. And since it will be short, they should do ask the students about the topic. So they could ensure that the students not only wrote on paper, but understood uh, what he wrote. This is just an example. If we ask parents and students how they would like to do homework, we will find very fun, dynamic, and helpful ways to do it. In conclusion, I am against their being banned, but I think they need a significant change. Thank you. Okay. Very well done. Excellent, Fernando. Congratulations. Janita, you are next. Okay, thank you, teacher. Well, my topic is individual show on their own DNA. This is a very interesting topic. Let me let me give you some terms. DNA referring to the entirety of the human genome, which consists of 23 pairs of chromosomes that collectively carry about 22,000 genes, each one having millions of nucleotides. Some of these sequences are shared all, all human. But another are uh, a variation that this is a, a specific for each person. But the shared uh, sequence are called function for, a, for essential to life. Every person is born with a specific set of genes that effectively define who they are. And that can be explorer, exporter, or replicate without their consent. Then we might think that something as personal as an individual's DNA might seem clear candidate for heritable ownership. However, under current law, individuals do not own their DNA or any other body tissue to that extent. DNA is a natural occurring and can be manipulated as a, as a laboratory, so no one has an initial control over it. Furthermore, any concerns over any concerns over how it's used in research or data or database can be better addressed by regulation on the frame, on the files of privacy and tort law, rendering properly law in effect on matters of the human genetic code. No human can choose that genes they are born with, a fact that makes them essentially a product of nature and its intrinsic process. This later definition was used by the Supreme Court of the United States in association of molecular uh, pathologic to apply the worldwide understanding that DNA can be owned by individuals or by, by a tier part in an initial stage. Some case in 2013, Mira is a genetics uh, company claim patent on isolation stains of DNA that is had previously located in, in its laboratories. Justice Clarence Thomas right for a unanimous court denied the patent, stating that a naturally occurred DNA segment is a product of nature and not patent eligible. And that's it. Then it's not eligible for, for the individuals I are their own DNA because a part of DNA is for all human, but some part of DNA is for each person. Okay, yeah. You know, that's a very interesting topic, right, Janita? Yes, I read a because lot. Do, you, do you 
Do you own your DNA pattern? Mm, well, no, because the regulations say that uh, anybody is out of their DNA because all, all uh, shared some DNA. Yeah, that then, means that, uh, I mean, you cannot own yours because, I mean, your brother shared that some part of that information, your cousin has shares part of that DNA yes, information. But you, can so change, you, you can change your DNA name. You need a laboratory and, you know, some part of DNA is uh, its essential function. It, all of, all of uh, have this part of DNA. Then yeah. you compare with me some some DNA and with or in this class. Then you can change you you don't get a pattern of this part of DNA. It's very complex, right? Yeah, it's very complex. <laughs> okay. Thank after you after before before yes, I can... read before I read that, I think I like you. The, the DNA is mine. My DNA is I. No, 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 it's no, mine, no. I don't. No. I don't think that is mine. I don't think that is mine. Actually, you know, before giving you all the topics, I had to read them all. Oh, okay. So but, I, I but check then, a lot of info about that. It's quite interesting. Yeah, yeah, it's very interesting. But then, I, I guess that you can get a pattern about that. Because you know, pattern is when you are owner of something. Yeah, when you're the owner of something. Yeah. But, but I, I mean, it's debatable, you know? <laughs> okay, teacher. It's quite interesting. Thank you very much, Janita. Guys, is there anybody else who's going to present today, tonight? Hello. Remember Teacher, some of you? I'm okay, trying. Maria Alejandra. Perfect. <laughs> My topic is sexual education should be mandatory in schools. Mandatory. Mandatory in schools. In my opinion, this is a controversial issue because it's not for everyone a casual, a casual conversation. There is still a lot of in maturity and resistance to speaking it openly. I think that the sexual education should be mandatory in all the schools because all the students or young mm -hmm. or children <laughs> is necessary to know their top this topic. Um, the time has changed and involved compared the years ago and all the information is easily accessible with that internet and the youngest want to know more. And when you need information and the home or parents don't like to talk about it, young people are left with our um, guide and make a mistake. But if you have this type of education at the school, they will have a guide and knowledge about the different topics are interesting. Interest. And I saw a series the name is uh, the sex education. <laughs> and I exposed this topic and how important is teach in the schools. And the students demand this education because they didn't know and they didn't have a guide. And when they search help, the teachers don't like about the don't like about the topics or don't have an answer for the question because they know they don't know. And the serious talk of the different type of the sexuality. Sex, sex, uh -huh and accept the, accepting themselves as they are, or understand that they should don't change for the other if they do not explore and accept what they want to be without be 
behind behind discriminate. discriminate. Okay. okay. What's your opinion? Your personal opinion, Maria Alejandra? I think that it's very important to teach this type of education in the school because I think that all the future is, not all the future, but part of the future is saying that young people, and I don't know, I think that many students do make a mistake when you have a relation because no, 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 didn't know or don't know of the con consequence of their actions. And I think that if the information is more easily for the students. And I think to prepare for the future and don't make a lot of mistakes and mm. give a better life for her sons or Tara and prepare for this responsibility. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. You Excellent. Well done, Maria Alejandra. Mr. Osorio, yes. Thank you, teacher. Uh, my topic is uh, all the students must have a job or an internship after school. And in my short and humble opinion, uh, uh, in the case of basic education students, uh, they are at an age protected by law, such as prevention of child labor. And I think all the children and young people have the right, uh, the right time to recreation for their healthy and emotional development. And therefore, I do not agree, except that the minor helps to attend a family business and that action provides the basic needs of their home. And in the case of uh, university interns, uh, it helps a lot uh, to be able to apply the knowledge uh, acquired during the course of their career. And it serves to have a, a first approach with the, with the world of work, teacher. Mundo laboral. Mm -hmm. And despite the fact that sometimes they are a little or nothing paid, uh, some companies decide to grant the job by hearing the students who did the internships due to their good performance. Yeah, well, it's interesting. Yeah, it depends on it depends on the level, of course. I, I mean, university students, well, talking on my experience, and I think Claudia had to happen for the same activity in our careers, we as teachers, uh, since the second semester, we are asked to, to do practices mm -hmm. in different and, levels. Yes, teacher, in, in, in my experience. Levels, and we are not paid for that, and we are, we need it's mandatory for us to reach a certain amount of hours per semester of practice mm -hmm. and well, for me it was a good experience mm -hmm. in my experience sir, i realized a project for the virtual platform of the industrial engineering career for the development of the subject of quality management in production processes and that was my graduation project, but I could make the decision to choose that project. And in that case, I agree that university students have a, a, the option to choose between doing an internship or do the, the thesis. And at the end of your degree, but I will not agree if we're a, a mandatory requirement. Okay, well, yeah, as you said, it depends on the career. Like I mm -hmm. told you, in our career, I mean, the whole yes, career it is necessary. But the, but the first, but the first semester, the first semester was the only one we didn't. Then the rest of the career, it was mandatory to do practices. Mm -hmm. But it depends on the career, as you say. 
Very yes, good, please. interesting. Very good, excellent, guys. It was a very, very satisfactory, well, for me, it was a very satisfactory class, and I expect to see you tomorrow. Please, guys, I need you to work on the platform. I am having problems that uh, I cannot uh, send my report complete every day because I still have some students who have not finished a second section nor midterm. So let's try to do it, okay? Let me get, please, the attendance. Teacher, I'm sorry. Marily Alfaro Gomez, yes. Yeah, I need connect with you tomorrow, please, for, uh, I need, I, I need, I need. Uh, just let help. me know the, just let me know the exercises tomorrow and I will gladly help you, okay? No problem. Okay, thank you, teacher. I'm Barely Alfaro Gomez. Say present, please. Ana Claudia Gonzalez Velasquez. Present, teacher. Thank you. Claudia Lizette Ramos Barrientos. Present. Daniel Eduardo Segueda Valencia. Erwin Francisco López Rojas. Present, teacher. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Present, teacher. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present, teacher. José Ernesto Osorio Morán. Present, teacher. José Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present, teacher. Lucero Abigail Godínez López. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present, teacher. Marta Ana Belinda Morales de Portillo. Present, teacher. Roxana Iveda Asensio de Mejía. Silvia Elizabeth Avendaño Pineda. I'm sorry, teacher, present. present. Thank you, thank you. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Walter present, Mauricio teacher. Morales Araujo. Present, teacher. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. William Giovanni Rosales Galvez. Present, teacher. Tanira Elizabeth Asensio Garcia. Present. Thank you very much, guys. Present nice. teacher. See Present. You tomorrow. Thank you. Present teacher. Good Nicholas. night. Thank See you tomorrow. Thank, Thank you. you. Good evening to everyone. Bye. Bye. Take care. See you. Have a good night. Everybody. See you tomorrow. Good night. Susana, hello. Good evening, teacher. Good night. Good evening. Good night is saying bye. Susana, you were supposed to stay with me for 10 minutes.
Well, guys, time has run over, so see you tomorrow. Bye bye. Have a good night.